Hey everyone, this is Steve Hardy with Atlantic Coast Contractors. We're going to be doing an instructional video for the installation of R400 rubber waterproofing. R400 rubber is a 100% pure acrylic latex that has no resin additives, no resin extenders, and does not have clay fillers as many other coatings do. R400 rubber is very resilient to mold and mildew buildup. It has a non-mercurical fungicide added to it, and that makes it much more resilient than other products. When it's kept clean, it's guaranteed not to go above 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And typically you would clean it every five years when it's time to do a recode. R400 rubber can be used as a re-roof alternative on many different types of roof coverings, such as a tile roof covering, a modified bitumen or flat roof covering, or a shingle roof. R400 rubber is an extremely energy efficient product. It is FPNL approved and is also an Energy Star rated product. If you have any questions regarding the energy ratings of R400 rubber, feel free to contact us here at All White Manufacturing and we'll be happy to answer them. All right, now we're gonna be applying our first coat of R400 rubber across the tile roof covering. Now we've already got our sealer application across this, this roof and we've also got our Portland cement slurry mix to make sure that it's a solid workable base and everything's sealed together as one piece. That's the goal with any waterproofing project is you wanna turn the roof into one solid sheet of rubber with no open penetrations or no open seams that could possibly leak in the future. So we'll go ahead and start applying the R400 over the tile. Now you're going to want to do a pretty thick application for your first coat. This is going to be the coat that's going to seal together any small pinholes that may be left after your initial prep work is done. Now I always prefer to use an inch and a quarter nap for a tile roof. You get a much thicker application and it tends to come out a bit more uniform as well. Now just like when we did the sealer in this one, I always like to do the field sections first, but we will need to take the roller and we're going to need to push the R400 rubber up into the nose seam of each row of tile. It's always good to take the outside edge of your roller and you can get the majority of the seam by doing it this way. Then when you come back and you're hitting it from the front, there's a lot less that you're going to have to worry about and uh, you'll be able to make sure you're getting full coverage. Now when you're finishing up with your field sections of tile, I always like to take a half dip and I run my roller at an angle both directions across the front nose of the tile. And you can see that seals up every section of the tile nose overlap. And then just to make sure, I like to come back, push it in, and that will also go ahead and clean up any excess that's there to make sure you don't have areas that are too thick. And that is how you're going to apply the R400 rubber to a tile roof covering. This is our first coat and we'll let that cure and then we're gonna go ahead and do our second coat after it fully cures. So now we've got our first coat cured across the tile roof covering. Uh, we're gonna be putting down our second coat of R400 rubber now. That's gonna end us at 22 mils in thickness. Uh, that's gonna be the full thickness of the system that you want to achieve in order to get the manufacturer's warranty. And just as the first coat was installed, we're going to want to make sure that we push all of the rubber into the tile overlap seams, especially the nose seams, to make sure there's no water penetration that could come in from a driving wind. So we'll begin with our second coat here. Because this is a smaller section, I'm only going to be taking three quarter to half dibs with my inch and a quarter roller nap. And we're just going to apply it so it's nice and uniform across the tile roof. This is also going to get rid of any variances in color. It's going to get everything to tie in nice and solid, and it's going to make it a, a nice bright white that will have a high gloss sheen. Just as it would be with a shingle roof, I always like to run down full sections after I've got my initial application on. So when I say run down full sections, I'm going to take the section I'm working on and do one solid swipe running across. Come down below it, one solid swipe running across, 
and then come back just to make sure that I get any of that excess. And that's going to give the, the nicest look and the best sheen across the roof tile. So now I always like to take a quarter dip for the tile nose seams, give it a swipe against the bucket to make sure we don't have drips. And then we're going to run the edge of the roller along the edge of the tile. And that's going to make sure that I'm filling any seams. We did already do this with the first coat, but it's always good to make sure everything's uniform and that you're doing everything the same way for the first and the second coat. Then you're going to take your roller, pat out any excess out of the overlap seam. And once you've done that, you're going to run across the top nose of the tile, get rid of any of the excess. And you're going to end up doing the same thing across the bottom get rid of the excess and that'll also get rid of the swirl marks that were left by your roller when you padded the excess out of the overlap seam. All right, we've got our final coat of the R400 rubber across the tile roof covering here. That's going to conclude the installation of the system and we're going to end up at a 22 mils in thickness. Once your second coat cures across the tile roof covering, you're going to want to go ahead and walk the roof to make sure there's no open seams, no open tile edges, or any cracked tile nose edges that you need to hit with MP1 polyurethane or touch up with R400 rubber. So this will conclude the R400 rubber installation across the tile roof covering. Over here we have our three-tab shingle sample board. Uh, on this side we have the Portland cement slurry mix applied and over here we have the joint fill compound applied. Uh, both of these are fully cured. We've let them cure overnight. Uh, we also have put a coat of sealer across the entire section that has catalyst. So now we're going to begin putting down our first top coat of R400 rubber. Uh, we will be putting down two full top coats of R400, so after this one cures, we'll be putting down another here in a little bit. Now with the shingle roof, I always like to roll horizontally first to make sure that we're filling all of the water eyes and the shingles. As I've mentioned before, the water eyes are the most important part of sealing a shingle roof. You will encounter certain jobs where you will need to do a more substantial amount of prep work, but some of these shingle roofs out there that have already been sealed, they're pretty straightforward and you will just need one coat of sealer and two coats of R400 rubber to get a good seal and get the five-year warranty. Now once you've rolled horizontally, it's always good to give a quick pass running up the slope. This will cross weave your roll pattern and will also make sure that you're filling any open seams or any penetrations that may be there. Typically when I'm working a larger section on a shingle roof, I always want to take my roller and run down the entire run of the section that I'm working on. And that will ensure that you get rid of any smaller uh, movement marks or roller marks that are going to be in your first coat of the R400. And it's also going to make sure that your second coat is looking as nice as possible and nice and uniform. So that's it for our first coat of R400 rubber across the shingle roof. We're going to let this cure. It takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the humidity levels and the temperature. Once this cures, we'll go ahead and start with our second coat of R400 rubber. So now we've got our first coat of R400 rubber cured across the shingle roof covering, and we're gonna begin applying our second coat of R400 rubber. Now this is gonna be applied at approximately the same rate as the first coat. It may end up being a little bit less because the first coat is gonna smooth out a good portion of the roof covering. But overall, it's going to be very similar to the first coat application. Now, for your final coat of R400 rubber across a shingle roof, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cross weave your roll pattern again. You're going to want to run vertical up the roof covering to make sure that with your final coat, you're getting a good fill on all of the water eyes and all of the overlap seams. And then once you've done that, then you will just go ahead and run down each, each section as far of a run as you can to give it the nicest appearance possible.
And this is going to conclude the R400 rubber application for a shingle roof covering. This is going to end up at approximately 22 mils in thickness. For your R400 rubber application, if you have standing water on the roof, you will need to have this polyester membrane embedded two to three feet past any existing standing water sections. Uh, this will only be used in areas that hold water. It's not necessary if you have a flat roof that has a slope of 0.5 and 12 or more, or anything that the water flow sheds off of the roof. So typically, if you're going to be applying R400 rubber, you're going to just do one coat of Probon 200 in addition to two coats of R400 rubber. However, this sample board that we're showing you, this does have polyester membrane on it, so this would be as if we're doing it in a standing water section. Once the second coat goes on top of the polyester membrane after the initial application, then you're gonna end up in between 35 and 44 mils in thickness, and that's gonna be the thickness you're gonna to want to achieve in order to get the manufacturer's warranty. All right, now that our polyester membrane is fully cured, we're going to start putting the two top coats of R400 rubber across the roof. So we'll go ahead and start rolling it out. You're going to take a full dip with your roller. You normally want to swipe the bucket so you don't make a mess. And the application here is really very simple. Now, just like any other application, you're going to want to make sure that you're getting full coverage. As roofers, we sometimes joke that you're using the roller as a squeegee rather than a roller because you are going to be applying it pretty thick. And I always like to do a full run up each section. That way it looks nice and uniform rather than having roll marks throughout the whole roof. And that's it for our first top coat application over the polyester membrane. You will still see the pink lines in the polyester membrane after your first coat, but those are going to disappear after we do our second coat of R400 rubber. So now we're going to be starting our final top coat of the R400 rubber over the polyester membrane. We've already got our first top coat over the membrane layer, and this is going to be our final coat. So that will be a total of three coats of R400 rubber. And you can always add additional coats if you want it to be thicker, if you want it to add any, any girth to the system. This coat will be applied just as the second coat was. You're just going to want to put it on fairly thick to make sure you've got a nice uniform seal across the roof. And after this coat, you will also no longer see the pink lines in the polyester membrane. After this coat, also you will not see any more pinholes in the polyester membrane. That is the key thing to look for when you're finishing up with your final application. You are going to get more coverage on this last coat than you did out of the first and second coats of the polyester membrane. That's because the surface is much smoother. And you can see the final coat, it goes pretty quick. It's pretty simple to do. And this gets a great seal that's gonna last a very long time on your roof covering. So that's the last step in the polyester membrane application. Once this coat cures, everything is finished with the roof. You'll just wanna double check any of the penetrations in the roof, any of the pitch pans. And make sure that all of the roof accessories are sealed as well. That is the most common problem area for roof leaks. So you'll want to walk the roof after this coat cures and make sure that everything is one solid sheet of rubber. So that finishes up our installation video for R400 rubber. R400 rubber is a great product for all different types of roof coverings. It can be installed across a shingle roof covering. You can use the Portland cement slurry or the joint fill compound for that. It can also be applied across a modified bitumen roof that can be with or without polyester membrane, depending on the standing water. And then also installed across a tile roof covering, which would need a slurry mix if it hasn't been coated already. Uh, each different type of job has different types of prep work that will be needed, but it's a great solution to all different types of roofs. 
And it's also going to keep your home or business much cooler, as well as be very resistant to mold and mildew buildup. Uh, overall, it's just a great product, and you can keep your roof under warranty forever with it. Why re-roof when you can waterproof? Thanks for watching.